I received this little blue gem. I'm gonna call it a gem. I don't even know if it works or not, but I received this little blue gem in a $12.50 bag, but I didn't get to try her and everyone was asking to see a look with this product along with the Mora Daydreams palette. And I would specifically use this blue. So I would kind of put these two together to create a look. So what do you think we are going to do today? Both of these items were from the Ice Cream Beauty brand. They have a beauty box, which is where the palette came from. The box goes for $25 a month. And then they have a beauty bag. This is where the uh, Crown Pro little uh, shimmer stick situation was featured. Those videos are linked up here in these three little dots. If you click there, you will be directed to those videos. You guys are going to enjoy it, I promise. And if you're wondering, yes, the giveaway winners will be announced in today's video, so stay tuned. Okie dokie, artichokey. In order to start off the look, we're gonna apply a very, very light base. I'm gonna zoom you guys in in a second. I cannot find, for the life of me, my white Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas. I've been looking all day to the point that I started cleaning the studio. I'm gonna go with the lightest concealer I have in my collection. This is by Ofra Cosmetics. This is their signature contouring and highlighting cream foundation. Now, this can be mixed and matched for foundations. You could also use it to conceal, to contour as per the name. This is the lightest shade. It's not too yellow, it's not too pink. It's a beautiful neutral kind of like in between. So I will be using this one until I find my clean canvas is in white or I'm gonna have to replace her. Okay, we're gonna start off again by applying this shade all over the liddy lid. And the point of going as light as you can, specifically with colors like a green or a blue, you can use the clean canvas in fair, but if you want vibrant, 100% vibrancy, you want it to look literally like it does in the pan, you should go with a white if you can pull that off. A lot of times white is way too stark for me. Like it's just, for my skin tone, it's a bit much. So I go with fair, but I want you guys to see these actual colors. So I am going to just go lighter. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge with which I applied my foundation, concealer, and all that jazz. I'm gonna make sure we get a nice blend. And then I'm gonna set this with my face powder and I will be explaining why I'm going to set it. Here we go. So I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill little quad. I'm gonna go in with this one because again, it's a really nice in-between neutral. Let me explain why it is that I will be setting my lids as I am doing it. We are going to be applying a cream product all over the lid. I, I'm using my little like rectangular little powder puff to avoid getting too close to the crease because I don't want to set the entire crease, at least not yet. The thing with cream, if you go on to a cream product with a cream, it may not set depending on the formula of the actual cream product you're putting on top of it. So if it was one of those like Maybelline, what is it, like they're matte metals or whatever it is, you know that you know it's like waterproof and then once it sits, it's not gonna move, absolutely go right in, do not set your base. However, we swatched this and the baby moved. And it had been on the back of my hand for a good maybe five, if not 10 minutes. It moved, like a lot, to the point that it disappeared. So I want to apply it on top of something that it's, it's just not gonna slip even easier. Will it last all day or will it crease cut? I don't know, because we're gonna try this for the first time. I'm gonna show you what she looks like on the back of my hand first. Very frosty, very pretty color. I don't think I do, I don't, I don't do blues here that much, do I? I'm just gonna go straight in to the lid with this product and I'm really gonna build it. Like I'm not gonna sit here and start blending quite yet. I'm gonna apply it exactly where I want it to go. Almost like, it's like a crayon. So I'm going in with a crayon onto the eyeball. Okay, now that the product is all over the lid, I'm gonna start off on the outer edge and I'm going to press it in. I'm not blending, pressing it in. When you're working with cream products like this, it's always nicer to actually swatch it on the back of your hand like I did and wait and see how it sets, if it sets, if it shifts, if it smears, because that gives you an idea as to how you want to approach this when you apply it on the eyeball. So as you guys can see, I'm just kind of like patting her in. Wherever I find that I need to build a little more, I'll go in. And of course, I'll give this an hour once it's done, about an hour or so, and then I'll let you know 
how it's wearing. Because if it's really gonna shift and move pretty bad, it'll happen within the first hour. I'm gonna move along, I'm gonna do the other side. I'll be right back. Grabbing the very same little stick, we're gonna apply some of that on the lower portion of the eyes. And the cool thing is, since we've already applied our concealer and set that, don't really have to worry about doing much on the bottom for it to kind of last. So we're gonna do that. I know it's looking weird. Trust the process, meha, trust el proceso. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna do it on the other side too. I don't really like working with little eyeshadow sticks like this. Like, my thing is definitely eyeshadows, just eyeshadow eyeshadows. I'm grabbing a, kind of like an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just gonna blend that somewhat back and forth, but not too much. So we're gonna go back into the bottom with another shade. Now we're gonna have some fun because we're gonna add this blue onto the crease fairly lightly. Tapping out, and then I'm going at an angle with my brush facing up, I'm kind of going back and forth. Okay, I've added some eyeshadow, but I wanna start blending that outer edge because I don't want it to be too much. Not quite yet. So when you're working with really vibrant colors like this, you really have to take your time. So we're gonna go back and forth and build that. We're gonna build and then blend. We're gonna build and then blend. And when I'm blending, I have no additional product on the brush that I'm using to blend. Now, as you're going back and forth, you're going to find that although you're building on the crease, you're gonna lose a little bit of that shade on your actual lid, but that's a non-issue because you can always go back in with that cream stick. So we're just gonna focus on like the actual crease and outer portion, the outer V, and then we'll play around with the inner corner and like the lids afterwards. I feel like I'm as far deep as I want to be on the eye. I'm going to just vigorously blend out here with a clean blending brush. Now this is where you guys are going to question my existence just a smidge and I understand it, but just kind of work with me. So I'm going to grab the brush that I use to kind of like press that lid shade and I'm going to mix it into that blue, but then I'm going to just tap into that purple, just that, the blue with a smidge of the purple. I want to deepen that blue a little bit, but I want it to be more blue than purple if that makes any sense. I don't have a black in this palette, so that's my best option right now. You see, it's still blue. And I'm gonna tap that out here and blend it out back and forth. And then yes, I am using an angled brush. This is the BK Beauty 205. It's really good. See, it's still blue. <laughs> so now that I deepened the outer corner just a smidge, I don't want it to be too deep because again, we are trying to keep it as blue as possible. I am gonna go in with the very same blending brush I just told you guys about for the crease that was nice and clean. We're gonna go in and go on with the blending. I feel like this would have been so much nicer had this, this frosty shade not been a little stick, okay? I don't like the formula of the stick. It doesn't set and it gets patchy and chunky, which is kind of frustrating. But you know, again, we're trying the product. I think we're just gonna add a little more of that blue on the lid and we should be good to go. See, that's pretty decent. Now we're gonna go into this white shade. It's called Miles Away. It is a very frosty white. Y'all know how I feel about adding some light shades on the inner portion. I think it'll tie everything in together. Do -do -do, do -do -do. I'm gonna bring it down here. I'm not done with the bottom, so I'm done ready. When it comes to looks like this, a lot of blending takes place. Otherwise, it looks patchy and off. I have so many brushes in my hand. Okay, now we're gonna go into that blue again. Just a smidge, tap out, and I'm gonna drag some of that down here. I wanna deepen it without deepening it too much. And then the brush that I mixed the purple with the blue, go on top of that to diffuse it. And if you've been with me for quite a while, you know some of your best tools are your fingers, girl. So you're gonna go in and blend back and forth with your ring finger. That's gonna diffuse, that's gonna blend without pushing the product too further down. You see what I'm saying? It still looks a little weird because we don't have eyeliner, we don't have mascara, we don't have lashes. We're gonna do that, but I need to make this one match. So I'll be right back. I'm turning on my lash curler so it'll start getting nice and hot. We are going to go ahead and apply a liner, a black one at that, on the waterline, back and forthy, forthy. I could have used the Illuminati Cosmetics one, the blue one, but that's like a bit much in my opinion. Like we already got enough blue going on. And honestly, blue is really pretty. I love using it on different people, like models. And you know, when I've done people's makeup, like I've loved using it on other people. Don't necessarily love it on myself. So yeah, um, I am gonna end up adding more like blend, like blending a little more on these uh, outer portions, but I kinda also want to first 
really built the eyes with applying mascara on the bottom, a little bit at the top, popping on some falsies that allows me to see the proper shape to my eyeballs. So we're gonna curl the latches and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Curly, curly. Now I'm going to pop on mascara. I'm gonna use the light camera lashes by Tarte because my lashes have gotten pretty long. I'm gonna like focus this on the bottom first. I have so many mascaras. I'm trying to rotate them all. I've only been using the uh, Ofra Cosmetics and Il Maquillage ones lately. And is it the BFR, whatever, be, before, before fa the one I got in Boxy? Before face, be beyond face. Girl, I don't know. I know that that one's amaze balls. But I'm not using her today because quite frankly, when it comes to eye looks like this that I don't feel super confident in because they're just not my color, I will make sure I pop on falsies. Okay, Cam is waking up. So I am going to quickly pop some falsies on. Go get Cam. I'll be back so that I can show you the lippy I would pair this with. And of course, the blush. And then I do feel like we're going to blend the crease just a smidge. Okay, your girl is back. And here are the eyes with liner and mascara as well as lashes. Let me just tell you, these lashes are from Shein.com and they suck balls they're not good quality the band just doesn't cooperate it lifts on the inner corner regardless of the lash these these lashes just i they suck but whatever so don't mind the lashes these are lashes where the styles don't even look the same even though they came out of the same little compartment it's just weird i'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush it's clean and i'm going to once again do a final sweep boop 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 back and forth and then the other side you guys like my quirky personality because i sing and all of that i know it's like why does she do that girl i myself don't even know okay there we have it but i i kind of want to go in with a little um this is the bka 502 it is the collab with angie hot and flashy one of my favorite brushes because look at this shape it's all good so i'm gonna go into that blue and once again, I'm just gonna pop a little bit here, you know, on the crease without blending I'm just gonna leave her alone. And then leave her alone. I like the eyes just the way they are. Again, I'm not a fan of blue, but this is kind of cute. Now for blush, what are we gonna do for blush? I have a few options. We have Shelly, Sunny, and Willa, and the shades are literally based on the packaging. So y'all already know kind of like what we're working with. I think Sunny is way too much for me right now. It's just, it's way too like, it's like a corally, but it's toned down. That's too much. Shelly is very pretty. I think we can work with Shelly, but then we have Willa. Now Willa is even more, we're gonna go with Willa because Willa is a little more toned down. I think that's what we need because this eye is like very, very bold. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. This is a Hank and Henry, by the way, and it's massive, I know. I'm gonna tap out, then I'm gonna tap Willa. And I went with a really fluffy brush because it's gonna give me that kind of like flushed effect versus it just being like all in one place and then I really have to blend. I'm just gonna do to see how I'm like dusting without really doing much. Mm -hmm. That is so pretty and they smell so pretty too. Very floral. Do the same thing on this side. And I'm barely tapping my, like I'm not going, ur, ur. I'm just barely tapping the skin. And Willa has a little hint of luminosity to it as you can see, it's so pretty. I'm very happy with Willa right now. And now for the lippy, we have to go moisturize, but we don't want it to be shimmery because obviously the eyes have a lot going on, but we also want it to be like a pinky nude. Okay, I'm back and I have a, the perfect lip combo for this look and you're gonna see some white on the lashes, girl. I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay with those stupid lashes. They were already lifting on the inner corner and that was super, super de duper annoying. So your girl ended up pulling them off and then I just grabbed one of the lash scoop ones. So yeah, now we're, I'm waiting for the lash glue to get a little tackier and then I will like lay them in place. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna apply a lip liner. This is the Beauty For Real Define Lip Liner in Neutral. When it comes to blue, you wanna pair this with a lip color that is not gonna clash with that blue. This blue has a lot going on. You have a little bit of depth, but you also have like a deeper blue. You have frosty blue. It, it's a lot. Like you have shimmers. So you do not want to apply a lip gloss topper with something like this. You definitely want to avoid bright, bold colors. I remembered having the Scorpio Moon Cream by ColourPop Cosmetics. See, it's kind of pinky, kind of nudie, very comfortable, goes well with my beauty for real lip liner i'm gonna blend it in and we're good to go like i am not overdoing it because 
the star of the show at this point are the eyes. I am going to work on these lashes and make sure that they're nice and secured. And I'm going to be back because we're going to announce the giveaway winners. I'm ready to announce the giveaway winners. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, so that YouTube will let you know every single time I post an update here on YouTube, whether it's a new video and or an update in my community page. And go follow my vlog channel because people have a lot of fun over there as well. Now for the giveaway winners. Remember there are two winners and each is gonna get a bundle of all skincare, makeup, tools, all that jazz. So winner number one is Patricia Watts, she is from Peoria, Arizona. I hope I'm saying that right. Congratulations, Patricia. Winner number two is Lori Danielle. And she is from San Antonio, Florida. I had no idea there was a San Antonio in Florida. Then again, I've only been here two years, so that would make sense. That is pretty cool. Congratulations, Lori. Ladies, please be on high alert as I will be sending each of you an email verifying your mailing address so that I can send over your prizes. And if you're new to my channel, please know that I love hosting giveaways very often. And that's because I get so much that I want to share with you guys. Kind of like show love, share the love, and show you guys how much I appreciate your support and your friendship. Okay guys, I think that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you choose to recreate a look similar to this, please make sure you tag me on any social media platform where you post it so that I can take a look at it and repost it as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.